So tonight in Clear's Tai Chi, we worked on a, a concept that I was taught originally that was helpful for doing really hard postures. In Tai Chi, you see some postures where you're doing like this stuff and the leg is supposed to come out really high. There's some that I was taught where the leg would come out and over and then down. And when people do it, a lot of times, especially in the beginning, it's like, how am I supposed to do that? Uh, and, it, and, it, and there are problems with it, and even in some postures like this one. And the idea, the principle that I was taught, it was a visualization that's used to help you to do movement, that eventually you leave the visualization and you just keep doing the movement that you've now built, unless you're going to increase it, then maybe you use the visualization again until you have what you're after, and then lose it. And it was basically this idea of pulleys, and so if I'm trying to get my leg high, and I, normally I can only do this. Well, I picture that there's a pulley around here or around my ankle coming out like from my toes, and a rope, if you will, and the rope comes up to a bar, as an example, and it comes over the bar, and the back hand has a hold of it here, and I pull that leg up by pulling on that bar. You know, I'm sorry, pulling on the rope over the bar. And then if I have to move around, I pull it, and I, you know, to get, the action that I need doing that. And that you can do that with a lot of movements or actually do that with your whole form where, like a lot of times for posture, what's correct in Tai Chi, most of the time, most, most places, most of the time, most styles, is that your wrist is sort of a leading point even though your hand's doing stuff, your elbow is down and your shoulder is down. And what I mean down is this relaxed and you could move them up and out and around and stuff, but they're what they call sunk and this kind of thing. So if you place a rope around the wrist and let the elbow hang and then the shoulder hang because of it, you'd be not all the time correct, but most of the time correct. Enough so that with, some, with instruction and all that, you'd, you'd be pretty right on, on the right track. Okay, and so you actually do your form where you picture that, and in this case, they're kind of up into the sky like, like being on a puppet string, and you also do the one from here, right? And then if I'm doing a move like this, that I'm pulling that, and then from here, picture that there's that pulley up and over so that as I come into this, it makes it so that this has, and then they switch. Right, so this is pulling that action. And one of the things you can do to test that real quick and easy is put a partner here, put a hand there and there, if you would, and I'm going to be here, and I'm pushing into him, and I'm pushing into him. Well, now I'll take and pretend that the pulley comes out here to here. Each one of those, that's a bar, that's a bar, and then to here, and I'll pull the pulley, right, and don't go for me that's me pushing, here I am pulling the pulley, right, so that you can see the, and come out one more time, there I am leaning into him, there I am pushing, there was a pulley, and that kind of thing. Same thing, one of the tests that you see is where it's coming up and the person's up on top like this, and if I try to push up, this is me trying to let go for a second. <clears throat> And then instead, I picture the pulley around my wrist, and I make sure that my elbows and shoulder are in that shape we were talking about, and let go for a second. No, I picture the pulley here, here, and being pulled, and I even sink some when I do it, and up you come. And it will add, it will add something, depending on your visualization, and realize it's not a crutch to be used forever, that every time I do it, I get to think that, but it will help you build if it's used correctly. So have fun with that and keep on training.